Michael, when did you first realize you were gay? Ooh. You know, I, <laughs> it was, I was probably in preschool, and it was uh, when I used to watch Saved by the Bell. Oh, Mario Lopez or Zach? Zach. Ah. <laughs> See, I was a Mario Lopez guy. I was a big Zach Morris uh -huh. fan. Mm -hmm. I knew then. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah I, I could see that. I, but see, I knew a lot earlier. Five years old. Well, that's I what knew. I said, yeah. Oh, was it five? When you, oh, see, Saved by the Bell was a different era for me. Yeah, you're eight years older than <laughs> yeah, me. I was don't like forget. a teenager. Yeah, don't forget Still that. watching Saved by the Bell. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I remember one of my first earliest memories was um, having a little crush on this boy Chad in mm. five-year-old kindergarten. Yeah. Yeah, I desperately wanted to be on his team when we would divide into yeah. teams and, and like they would give friends. us these colors. Uh -huh. And I remember he got red. Maybe this is the reason why my favorite color is red to this day, because <laughs> I wanted desperately to get the color red to be on his team, and I did. I will never <laughs> forget that day. Like, this yeah. is one of the only memories I have from five-year-old kindergarten. My earliest memories probably were me being gay. <laughs> yeah. But it was a lot easier in, I mean, Miami Beach. I mean, yes, it, it's... It was still hard, you know, back in the 80s, uh, 90s, but 90s it was me, so yeah. much more liberal than where I'm from in Mississippi, where I felt that there was no way I could ever come out yeah. and tell people that I was gay because you just always, you always heard such horrible things. Uh, yeah. On, like, because we were the devil, you know, we True. were so evil. And you came from a religious background. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine. I mean, I was so anxious, you know, just knowing I was gay, not wanting anybody to find out. And, mm -hmm. you know, I come from such a liberal family. Your family and, is so understanding. Oh my gosh, like I had, you know, gay uncles, you know, since I was a yeah. little kid and, and it was never an issue. But even with that, it made mm -hmm. me so anxious and I was so scared. So I can't imagine having the entire religious aspect pressuring you. Who was the first guy you fell in love with? Or at least fell thought you fell in love with? Uh, no, I mean, I, I do feel like, I think when you're your first love, always I feel is probably the strongest feeling because it might not be really love, but yeah. a, as a young person, you think this is what love is. And I felt that with my, the first guy I ever dated, which was really, it was hard for me because I was closeted. Um, it was the first guy I'd ever, you know, uh, dated and, and been with and was trying to figure out what this is. And then the kicker was, he was straight. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh -huh. What about you, was it me? <laughs> do you feel that when you're in the closet and you do meet someone, because I mean, this is how I felt, yeah. um, that you felt like you were never going to meet anyone else? Oh my God. So that yes. I think that's why I fell so, so head over love. heels because you think this, this, is, is, the this one. is the only thing oh, I'll 100%. ever. Oh, hundred percent. But uh, the first, I think my first real relationship uh, was you. <laughs> it was. It was you. You were my what, first, first boyfriend, would you you're say? You are my first well, what about the guy you dated? Boyfriend. Well, you didn't call him boyfriend, your first love? No, because I wasn't completely out. Uh, okay. You know, I was still in the closet with half the people I knew mm -hmm. in college. You're the first person I actually introduced as my boyfriend. Aww. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Do you feel like you missed out? <laughs> oh, every day. No. Well, I didn't... Uh, I, I wasn't, you know... Mm. I, I had experiences yeah. before, apart from boyfriend. I'm not so your first. How out. dare you? <laughs> why, why, why was I yours? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's sweet. I, I saved myself for you. <laughs> wow. I know. No wonder your other relationships didn't work out. I know. Yeah. Who are your role models? <laughs> My role models, like who influenced me? Mm -hmm. uh, it's like you know what? Uh, I feel like my first actually experience of, I guess, a, a queer celebrity mm -hmm. that I looked actually looked up to was RuPaul, because my mom was such a big fan of RuPaul. Mm -hmm. And I remember, I must have been in kindergarten, like six years old, my mom went to, event, to an event and RuPaul was there and she had this picture of her and RuPaul and she mm -hmm. like framed it and hung it on the wall mm -hmm. of our house. Yeah, well, I have to say that is one of the first uh, LGBT members I, I knew of. And I feel like RuPaul and this the drag community really is a gateway to g having the straight community like the gay community. Um, True. Through humor, through just, I mean, you just fall in love with so many of these people. And I remember when I was a kid, my dad, uh, who is oh, yeah. just straight as it comes. And, <laughs> Real serious. Just very serious. 
Uh, I remember at the hospital he, that he worked at, they had some Christmas show or whatever, and all the guys had to dress in drag. And seeing my dad on stage yeah. in full <laughs> drag made me feel so good because I knew, obviously, as a kid that I was gay. So seeing my dad not care about that and just feel, you know, and just, you know, have fun yeah. with it um, made me realize they were a lot more open-minded than I ever thought that they would be. Yeah. yeah. And also, I mean, not to embarrass you, but oh, I feel gosh. like you're a big, you know, especially when you came out, there weren't a lot of, like, young people that were, you know, in the limelight, pop stars, actors that had come out, mm. even though it was only, what, 13 years ago or so? 2006. Yeah, that 13 years ago. ago. Yeah. So you were kind of like one of the first, you know, at that time, like, big pop stars that came out. You were in your 20s, you know, and it's like, oh, there's a young 20-something-year-old celebrity who's now gay and it kind of I feel like opened up that conversation with the younger generations a lot yeah, more if I could have helped anyone that age become who they were at an earlier age yeah that makes me very happy along those lines if you could tell yourself your teenage self something mm -hmm. oh know, my gosh with, it, with what you know now God, so many things <laughs> yeah um, but you know I if, if I could talk to teenage Lance yeah uh, I mean I look at I look at my my life especially at 16 on, yeah. you know, when I joined in sync, um, there was this huge secret that I had that I held, and yeah. it got worse for me because now the whole world is looking at you. And I just mm. thought anything I would say, anything yeah. that I would do, any movement I did, someone was going to figure out something, and then that was the end of all of our careers. Yeah. Um, so I look back at all those interviews that I've ever done, and that's not me. The only one person asked me. Uh, it was Chris Kirkpatrick. And I remember we were shooting the It's Gonna Be Me video. And, you know, at this point, like, I wasn't, you know, obviously dating anyone. I was completely asexual yeah. at that point. So it was just out of my mind. And we were just sitting in the dressing room, and he just looks at me and goes, are you gay? I went, exactly. Like, no. No, of course not. What are you, what are you talking about? Are you about? crazy? <laughs> and then, you know, and I always say this, I'm like, I wish more people would have asked me. Yeah. And, and I just wish my parents would have just asked me, like, not just ask you, but say, it's okay to be gay. Because that's one thing about, you know, gay people and coming out. Most people don't know they're allowed to come out. They, they were never given that, that, yeah. uh, the validation, that green light, the, the validation yeah. to, to come out. So I would go back and tell that teenage Lance to say, screw it all. Be yourself. Yeah. Don't, it doesn't matter. It does not matter <laughs> what people think of you. I would love for, for our grandkids and our great grandchildren to remember me as someone that was trying to help. Yeah. I want them to remember me for having a great butt. <laughs> but apart from that, pun intended, mm. um, I just want them to remember me as just being a really kind, empathetic, nice yeah. person. And uh, the golden rule, just treat everybody the way you'd like to be treated, truly, mm -hmm. and... Yeah. As long, look, my mom always said, as long as you're not hurting anyone, truly hurting someone, yes. you be and do whatever you want to be and do. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Best lesson I ever had. Do you know your history? Preserve it by interviewing your elders now using the StoryCorps app.